What's up? How y'all doing? It's Lugamonger. This is a Paragon Warlock. I've been carrying this one around the last couple days, and it's made me realize there's three different types of knife, right? Three different types of folding knife. And they are the type of knife that you hand to somebody, like... Just hand it to basically anybody. You don't worry about it. You don't open it before you hand it to them. You just kind of throw it at them. Here you go. This is representative of that. This is the Delica 4. And this one here is a Benchmade Griptilian. Handing these to anyone. Non-knife people, knife people, tactical people, whoever it is. I'm not going to be nervous handing this knife to somebody. I'm going to hand this to a 10-year-old boy. Or a 10-year-old girl. Doesn't matter. 10-year-old. Whatever. I hand it to... Basically anybody, you know what I mean? As long as I have the confidence to think that they know how to handle a knife, I'll throw that knife at them. It doesn't matter. Even though it is razor sharp. You always give a little bit of a warning that it's sharp because most people don't quite understand what a sharp, sharp knife actually is. And then there's the second second type of knife here. And these are knives that I open before I give to people. I'll still give this to somebody. They'll think it's cool. They may want to play with it. And when they see me actuate it, they'll be able to use it. They'll be able to use it safely. They won't be, you know, they won't hurt themselves. As long as they get it, they get it, right? It's the same thing with this barrage here. It's assisted. I'm going to open it, and then I'm going to hand it to somebody. Because it's got that slant, you know what I mean? There's that kick. They might not be expecting it. There's the potential for them to hurt themselves, especially if they don't really know what they're doing. And then there's the type of knife here, which I don't hand to people. I would rather hand somebody a fixed blade than hand them this Paragon. And I've realized this in the last couple days... Carrying this around, letting people see it. Just, oh, these, that's a knife guy. He likes knives. He's, he's into, he carries a pocket knife. I'll show them this. Nobody knows how to operate this thing. I will show them how to use it. And nobody knows how to use it. There's this hinkling that people get to close it like that. Then they'll, oh, it didn't close all the way. And so everybody puts their hand on the, this, the, the blade, right? It's a double-edged dagger here. Everybody puts their hand on the edge and then tries to close it like this. And then they'll get to a point here, which I don't generally allow them to, you know what I mean? Open it, open it, open it, what are you doing? Don't do that, don't do that. You know, I, I gotta stop them be before, you know, before they actually cut themselves or before, you know, they do damage to the knife. They just don't quite understand it. It's the same thing with the ballet song. I won't hand a ballet song to anybody because they're, yeah, you can open it up and then hand it to them, but they might try to play with it. Oh, this is really cool. Oh, shit, I just cut myself on your knife. And so they're, I, I just don't, I mean, that's not everybody. Obviously, a knife guy, I'll hand them, you know, if, if they are a knife dude, I'm going to hand them this. If they're a knife person, you know what I mean? I'm going to show it off. But generally speaking, there's just three types of knife. Some that I'll hand to anybody, some that I will open and observe them using, make sure they don't use it properly, and some knives that I prefer just not to hand to anybody who isn't really experienced with knives. Y'all have a good one.